what are some common misconceptions people have about meditation and its effects on cognition as well as well-being? There's a widespread um, propaganda or belief that meditation is easy. Now, meditation is simple, but not easy. Meditation, that's the first part and then an extension of this is, why is it not easy? That's because a lot of people are not ready for meditation. And meditation does not lead to enhanced cognition as an as a outcome. In fact, that's not the goal of meditation. You need good health, you need sort of like a relatively peaceful state of your mind to become ready for meditation. An agitated mind cannot meditate. And let me go back a little further. An agitated body cannot help you get to a uh, restful mind and that cannot meditate. So they are actually not circular, but they, you must begin with your body. So a healthy lifestyle will help you meditate. Meditation may or may not lead to healthy lifestyles, partly because you would not be able to meditate. And when, you're, when I'm using this term meditate, it's not necessarily an action that you can take. There's a lot of debate in this area. It's a relatively new area for science. One of my most cited articles on this topic is about definition of meditation. So a misconception that existed in the scientific literature that's somewhat improving in my view. What was and what is meditation? Not everything is meditation. So definitions need to be clearer. Only then we will have good understanding of the relationship between meditation and cognitive well-being. Okay, I believe you. I definitely believe you. And what you said is basically meditation is not an active thing. It's more of a passive thing, isn't it? It's not an act. It's not something that you can do. So when, let me be more clear there. Meditation is generally used for techniques as well as the state. To me, meditation is a state of awareness. Now, or an active state could be something like, okay, you are running. But meditation is not like that. Techniques could be like that. You could be sitting in a posture, you could be walking, you could be just simply observing the sensations in, these, in your body. These are all different actions. So meditation in that sense is an active thing, but it's not an action that will lead to a particular outcome. Meditation is the outcome. Hmm. There are other actions that you need to take. You need to be restful. You need to be relaxed. You need to be away from distractions. As, as a beginner, it's very critical that you don't confuse the state versus the technique. Hmm. We're going to have a meditative session at the end of this. And you're getting me thinking already. And, <laughs> and maybe that's contrary to what I'm supposed to be. I'm, now I'm overthinking. But at the end of the session, we're all collectively going to do a meditation. Hopefully, everybody can join us.